Hi, I'm Sophia from Baycat, and we're here at Sanchez School with the principal, Dr. Isola. Hello, it's nice to be here today, and um, I'm really excited to talk about our project here at Sanchez School. We have 70% um, of our students are learning English as a second language, predominantly uh, Spanish speaking, coming from Spanish speaking homes. We have um, a significant number of students who are in special education who have learning disabilities and so um, you know we see the garden program as a viable means of learning for all of our um, all of our students here from the preschoolers we see them really benefiting from the experiential learning opportunities and exploring up to our fifth graders who um, can be role models and big brothers, big sisters for our, for our younger students. How many years have you had the garden project here? This is the third year with the um, garden project and this, this year we've hired a garden coordinator, uh, Fiona Dunbar, and that's been really instrumental because part of a team is being able to have really kind of a designated person who can help to coordinate activities and work with the teachers and parents and students. We did some research when we planted the Myers lemon trees outside and that uh, also was well suited for the Mission District in this area. So we decided to plant Meyer lemon trees. But it was, instead of planting ornamental shrubs or trees, we wanted to have trees that were fruit bearing trees. So you guys are installing the vertical gardens and removing some bungalows? exploring the use of vertical gardens in an urban setting because I think a lot of times there's a challenge of space available and so the vertical gardens is creating a solution to that where we're giving we're being able to use vertical space that is not affecting children and, and adults being able to use um, horizontal space. I believe we're the first public school in San Francisco to to have a vertical garden program so we're excited to to be involved in this initiative and, and share what we learn with, with, with my colleagues and other schools talking about the, um, the advantages of this type of uh, approach to gardening. Carlos, uh, what have you been learning about um, growing food and the importance of eating healthy foods while you've been here at Sanchez School? Uh, one of the things that I've learned that plants are not just plants, you have to treat them like they were your own so they'll, be, they'll grow up to be nice and healthy. And if we take care of these plants and they are healthy, then we will be healthier and we will have a healthier community. And if we look behind us here, we're going to be adding a vertical garden with a, uh, a wind turbine and, and solar panels. And this is what it's going to be looking like through uh, this collaboration with San Francisco so Slow Foods. So we're going to be learning about green technology and solar energy and wind turbines and, and that. Anytime anywhere there's a wall, you can turn it into a garden. So what we're going to do here is going to make a small garden. It's going to be run on solar panels, which are being installed, wind turbines, batteries, and a weather station. And then, and then uh, this is parsley. So, yeah, this is parsley. It's not It's not solar. Good, very good. And I'm just going to give you guys a few notes. I'll show you how plants are, and you're going to do it. It's going to be very weed delicado, huh? Because they're very, like, don't do it on the wall. Okay, Miss Fields, you want some plants? Sure, I would love some Okay, and everybody else got plants? Yeah. Okay, now watch what I do. You, you want to delicately just take one plant. Right, the roots are pretty tied together. Like this. Okay, one plant with the roots. And in here are these pockets. This might be a little hard to do. Right, there's these little pockets. But you have to reach inside and you put the plant inside the pocket. So you get everybody's getting into the second pocket. Yeah, right here. Hey, right here. We've got some spinach right here, some bok choy, uh, we've got some spearmint, 
roughly parsley, some celery right here, kale, more kale, and some different cabbages and kales up there as well, and uh, mustard greens, of course. So the concept here is to use a vertical surface and grow plants, grow food, and have fish. So the fish water circulates, so it's called aquaponics, we're mixing hydroponics, which is growing plants without soil. The very small area, you're creating a, 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 a micro farm or a farm, so you need the fish for protein and the, the, the vegetables for <coughs> carbohydrates. So you have a smaller one, the water goes from the fish tank up to the top, like we, you know how the garden we just planted, water's trickling down? Yeah. Same thing, water goes from the fish tank up to the top, trickles down through the plants, through the roots. Now in the roots are just in one inch, it's like a carpet, but we put microorganisms in there. So there's little tiny microorganisms that convert the fish manure, which is ammonia, into a nitrate, and it just loops like this. And the plants get bigger and the, and the water stays nice and clear for the um, fish. It has a wind turbine. So you're gonna see this wind turbine, and maybe when you go back out, it might be up. And, and solar panels. So what we really want you guys to do is learn what solar panels and wind turbines and batteries are. So you can, because that's going to be the future for us. And so this is giving us an opportunity to really rethink our school for the 21st century. The, the first step is to look at um, our teachers and having them understand it. So we're going to be providing some professional development seminars for our, for our teachers. And our garden coordinator and our science teacher are going to be receiving some professional development and they're going to then be providing some professional development for the teachers. So the teachers understand the weather station, the solar panels, how that w works, the wind turbine and the vertical garden itself. I think that's really powerful because when you see the adults and, learn, and, and students learning side by side, then we're really modeling what it's about to be a, a lifelong learner. We know that to carry out this work, we have to collaborate with like-minded organizations that, have, that share common values with us. And so this collaboration and partnership with Slow Food has been very uh, important to uh, join forces and share resources to be able to strengthen our influence here in San Francisco, but also to realize that the efforts that we make here are both um, um, important at a national and international level.